All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to manually install Cyberpunk mods. You're gonna need a Nexus Mods account. So head over to Nexus Mods. You're also gonna need something that can unzip a file. You can use 7-Zip. If you don't have it, go to the 7-Zip.org. All right, so we're gonna look for your Cyberpunk folder. You go to Steam, right click on Cyberpunk. Go to properties, installed files, go to browse. And now this is your cyberpunk folder. Every mod, it goes into this folder. This is what we're going to use to manually drag and drop downloaded mods from Nexus mods. So what I'm going to do is stick it to the left side. Yeah, this is how the setup is going to be, how to make it easy to just drag and drop whatever mods we're going to use from Nexus mods. All right, so now we're on Nexus mods. There's like little tabs here. If you've never used it before, you can look at popular downloads and whatnot. But in this video, we're going to look at Gonk Weather 2.0. That's going to be the first download example that I'm going to show. Read the description. If there's recommendations of other mods, try to download those. When this one, we're just going to download Gonk Weather 2.2. click the file download this one needs phantom liberty so if a pop-up comes up make sure you have phantom liberty all right so download the file all right so you take your downloads folder and move your downloads folder to the right side so it's like evenly spaced so now you have the downloads folder on the right side where you download your mods and your cyberpunk folder on the left side where you drop your files so now you take gonk weather you extract the file i extract it in downloads that's where I, I extract it you can extract it wherever you want take the file there's the gonk weather file that we extract uh extracted now you're just gonna drag and drop you see where it says archive you're going to drag and drop in the cyberpunk folder. You don't drag and drop where it says archive. Sorry, I have to fix this. Up. You drag and drop the archive folder in a slot that's that's open. So you see where it says copy to cyberpunk 2077. That's what you want. You don't want to say you don't want copy to archive. No, copy to cyberpunk 2077. That's the one you want to drag and drop. That's the area. If it says something else, the mod's not going to install correctly. So that's it. Now, Gonk Weather is in your Cyberpunk. So when you load up, like my videos, you're going to have that weather type. So I'm going to show you guys another example. So now I'm going to look, I'm going to show you guys Cyber Vehicle Overhaul. So this is the uh, mod that allows people to drive like 300 miles per hour on a bike um, handling has been tweaked also but as you see right here this needs cyber engine tweaks there's mods that need requirements so cyber engine tweaks that popped up I click on it I'm gonna download cyber engine tweaks so download that file so now we're in the downloads Cyber Engine Tweaks, same thing. Extract. Now find the extracted file. Here it is. Now it's a bin file. So right under Archive, in your Cyberpunk folder, there's a bin. There's a bin folder. So you drag and drop, same place. Copy to Cyberpunk. So I already downloaded it, so I'm just, you know, I'm just exiting out. But now we have the required file that cyber be cyber that cyber vehicle overhaul needed. All right, it needed cyber engine tweaks. So now we go back to cyber ve now we go back to the cyber vehicle overhaul page and now we could download it. Yep. It's still going to pop up that hey, you need cyber engine tweaks, but you already downloaded it, so that's it. Same thing. Now we go to 
your downloads, cyber vehicle overhaul, extract the file. And now we're going to look for the file. There it is. It's going to be a bin folder. Same thing. Drag and drop. Copy to Cyberpunk 2077. Drop it there. There it is. Now we have Cyber Vehicle Overhaul. Now I'm going to show you guys how to delete a file. So basically, when you delete a file, you're going to want to know where the file is. So in this example, I'm going to go to Gonk Weather, the extracted Gonk Weather folder in my downloads folder just to see where it is, right? Say you don't know where it is. So there's Gonk Weather. Click on it. It says archive, right? Click archive. Just click, keep clicking the folders. Now PC, mod. That's where it is. It's an archive. I'm doing it again for archive, PC, mod. That's where it is. That's that's where the file path is. So now you're going to go to the left side. Same thing. Archive, PC, mod. And now you're going to find Gonk Weather 2.0. That's where it is. You just get rid of it. Delete. There you go. And that's it. No more Gonk Weather. That's how you uh, delete it. So thank you for all the support, guys. We're at 800 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm going to be posting other games too. It's not going to be Cyberpunk. Uh, I'm going to be posting Star Wars Outlaws. Any game that's like graphical on the PC that can that has mods too. Like even a, if even if it's a small tweak, like for Star Wars Outlaws, there's not really mods for it, but there's tweaks here that um make the image clearer and whatnot i'll be posting videos on that i'm pretty much a newbie modder like i all my mods are basic as shit you know no, nothing crazy um i want to learn unreal engine modding soon and yeah thanks for the support guys i'll catch you guys next time and please subscribe